I first started loving duck hunting when I was 12 years old. My brother took me, my brother's name's Danny, and he was seven years older than I was, so he was 19, he was a full grown man, and he'd take me duck hunting, and we were just buddies, and from then on, I've loved it. In 1975, I wanted to make my own call. So I wanted to make one just for myself to use, and so I didn't have anybody to tell me how to do it, so it took a lot of trial and error to make one right. And when I got one to work, I liked it. It was okay, but it wasn't great. And a friend of mine wanted it, so I gave it to him. And I did that again, and another friend wanted one, and I gave it to him. But the third one really came out good, and I really wanted to keep it. But a friend offered me $40 for it. I said, hmm, you know, I might be able to make some money here. so. I sold that and, and made more, and that's kind of how it got started. When I started making duck calls, I did it part-time, and I had a regular job, and I kept working on duck calls and doing my job and working on duck calls and doing my job. And it kept growing and growing and growing, and with friends helping me and my wife putting up with a lot, we finally, in, in 1996, decided to go into it full time. So she quit her job and I quit my regular job and we went into it full time. I feel very honored and lucky to be inducted into the Arkansas Waterfowl Hall of Fame. A lot of people might have done more things than I have and there might be a lot of people out there that deserve it even more than me. But anybody that loves the outdoors should do the things they think are right towards waterfowling to make it a better sport for the kids that are growing up.